All right, there we go. Now, chat. Gold Roger might be one of my favorite characters, not only in the series, but in Treasure Cruise. I sincerely hope that he has received some amazing buffs. Wait, if he got a 6 plus, do not tell me that he means he gets a level limit break as well, because my one is not max level limit break. Oh no. All right, here we go. Oh, Goldie Roger. 6 plus. Clash of the Formidable Forces. Okay, he doesn't have a level limit break here. Um, could actually just go to Super Evolution. Does it show it here, if he has one? Okay, maybe he doesn't have one. I suppose that's probably for the best. Oh, but that ink though! Holy crap! <laughs> I didn't even just realize the ink effect. Hey, yo, dude. Look at that. Captain of the Roger Pirates, on a certain island, he clashes against Whitebeard Pirates. The battle lasts three days and three nights. Nullifies the effects of remove beneficial effects, remove accumulated values once per quest. Boost the crew's attack by 5x, upped from 4.5, 1.3 health. Completely removes the crew's despair. If the character uses his special, he gets a 5.25 captain instead. Okay, so they've just upped the numbers. It's the same It's the same captain ability, but they've upped the numbers. There's, there's literally no reason to change it. Captain ability was still super strong. I don't see an issue with that at all. Super type. I'm really interested to see if they change anything here. So, Odin, Rayleigh. Oh, they added Gaban. Okay. Whitebeard, Crocus, Shanks, Buggy, Dogstorm, Cat, Viper, Ace. Reduces cooldown by one. Changes crew slots, including block into matching. Locks the slots for two turns now. Holy. Oh my god. Roger. Roger, my boy. All right, that's what we'd like to see. Let's have a look here. He now does 1.5 million damage to all enemies, ignoring all debuffs. Boost the crew's attack by one turn based on the total damage dealt with normal attacks before the special is launched. 2.75, 3x, 3.25, again, just upping the numbers. If the crew has an attack buff status when you launch the special, boost the color affinity of the crew by 2.25 for three turns. If he is the captain, extends the duration of the crew slot effects by two turns. Yeah, I get, like, he didn't really need a buff. Like, Roger was already really strong, and they've just gone ahead and just upped the numbers. I mean, he's still, like, Roger's still that guy, dude. Like, Roger is still one of the best legends in the game. I think, honestly, he's probably just propelled back up to the top five, in all honesty. He's probably just back up there, man. Like, he didn't even, yeah, exactly, just Giga Chad, man. He didn't even need that much of a buff. Support effect um, is the same, but of course he's going to get increased stats, which is wicked. Um, let's have a look at his rumble. Look at that. Uh, the sprite is a little bit different. Side teammates HP 5. For, for the first 30 seconds, you get level 4 defense. For the first 60 seconds, you get level 6 attack, level 6 speed. And then level 6 CT when there's less than 40 seconds remaining. Um, it, it's pretty similar. They've just like basically upped the numbers. Oh my god, does he have stats now? Targets enemies, uh, all enemies for 2,500, so that's up from 2,000. Um, targets enemies in a medium range for attack down, defense down, speed down. Okay, so he doesn't have stats. It's just attack down, defense down, speed down. Still very strong. Still very strong. There was no reason to really change it. Completely evades special bind, action bind, and paralysis. Do not touch me. Roger just comes in and says, don't touch me. I'm swinging swords out here. He doesn't give no shits. Uh, I wonder if this any, if this changed. Did this change? This changed, didn't it? This got buffed. I don't remember it being 2750 last time. It did get changed. So they just upped the numbers. Holy. Like, the best GP leader in the game just got buffed even further, dude. <laughs> that is so stupid. Oh, man. 7 attack, 7 HP, level 3 speed to size, slasher get level 4 defense and attack, level 7 speed and guard. Like, <laughs> Roger was the best GP lead and he just got even better. I can't even believe this stuff, dude. He's so good. Yeah, I mean, Roger 6 plus, he didn't need a buff. He got one anyway. He's cool. And look, he doesn't even have a level limit break yet, so that he can still be buffed further in the future, which is the craziest thing. So the last thing we need to check here is Uta. Um, oh wait, hang on, hang on. Look at his artwork though, hold up. Dude! 
dude. And she has ink effect now too, I believe. Um, oh, of course, I haven't got... I've got the wrong character that's evolved right now, so I can't see the ink effect. Um, but they've just added Uta to the front. Dude, uh, it's a bit... <laughs> it's a bit of a patchwork job. But, it, I mean, you can literally see it. It's just the same artwork, but they've just kind of, like, pasted Uta on the front of it. Uh, but it's Crazy Eyes Uta. And I'm pretty sure that it's the same. Like, this didn't get changed, right? Yeah, like, this is this is still all the same. Okay, she has blinking, which is kind of cool. I mean, that's cool. It's cool. I'm down with it. Oh, Uta's in the little sprite as well. Are you kidding me, dude? They really went out of their way to add Uta to this. <laughs> they really went out of their way. Okay, dude. Um, the more important thing, though, is we want to check out this super evolution. I am very curious to see what this super evolution is. Wow, that looks amazing. That artwork is really, really good. See, this is what we're this is what we're expecting for a six plus Uta. Finally, we get it. That's so cool. So now she is a quick cerebral shooter. Reduces her cooldown by three at the start of the quest. Reduces the special charge time of the crew by one. Boosting quick cerebral and she's a shooter. Quick cerebral and shooter characters attack by five x. I guess it makes sense that she's quick focused because of the of Shanks and Ben Beckman and also Yasop as well. Makes their tandem slots have matching slot effects, reduces the crew's paralysis and special reverse by 10. Ayo. If the crew has used her special. Her captain changes for five turns. She's a 5.4 captain. Makes tandem slots matching and the same utility effect. Okay, like I don't see there's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean it's just it's literally buffed version of base Uta. But it depends on the rest of her kit. So I believe this is the same No, actually to activate her super class before, wasn't it you needed to have an attack and an orb boost activated? So this is different, I think. Further increase the crew's attack and orb boost by 0.25. Adds 0.25 to attack boost and slot of food. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So you buff for the next... Further increases the boost by 0.25. Adds 0.25 to the effect of an attack boost and slot effects that are launched after the special is launched for three turns. So it does the same thing, but it still buffs the one that's currently activated. Okay. Okay. It's pretty good. But yeah, it's basically just adding Luffy, Shanks, Beckman, Lucky Roo, Yasop, Rockstar, Gordon. It's just all of the car all of the red-haired pirates that currently have units. Plus Luffy and Gordon, pretty much. Okay, turn progress effect. This is base Uta, right? When the special is launched, boost shooter and cerebral characters. Okay, so this is so cool. Dude, shooter's so busted now, man. Getting access to a character like this? Oh, man, so good. 2.5 attack. Oh, my God. we got See, see where it says boosts there? Yo, what's a bepost? Can anyone please tell me what is a bepost? Because I need to know. Boost their boosts their slots by 2.25 at the start of the turn. Second turn, 2.75, 2.5. Third turn, three times 2.75. If the effect of the special is removed, boost cerebral and shooter characters attack and all by 2.5. If you already have it activated, when you launch the special, changes all slots, including block into tandem. Locks them for two turns and a 1.2 chance. Okay, so she's literally like a side graded version of base Uta. She's good. She is good. And I assume this is the same. Changes character slot into matching. Further that boosts the chain multiplier by 2.25. Was that what current Uta does? Yeah, okay, it is it is the same. Oh wait, we can just check the uh, the super evolved artwork here, right? Yeah. So there you go. It's a multiplicative. Well, it's the same. It's it's the same uh, final tap though. Yeah, it's a 2.25 like multiply. So if your chain is 5x, you multiply that by 2.25, and that's what the final tap does. Um. Okay. So it's literally just a side graded version of Cerebral Uta. Oh yeah, that is a multiplicative. That is a multiplicative. No, you're right. Okay. So that that actually did receive a change then. Yeah, that plus Shanks. Oh my god. Dude. This is this is pretty strong. And then the final tap is also just the same, but it says you need the final battle when one or more of the following characters are on the crew. 
So you need those characters in order to, to get the, the super final tap thingamajiggy to go off. Quick Cerebral. If the supporter character uses a special boost Cerebral attack and orb by 1.5, this will definitely see play. That support is so good. There is a lot of good uh, Quick Cerebrals that could definitely utilize this special. This is so good. Oh, okay, appreciate that, Shiro. We'll have a look. There's so much to have a look at. Oh, that's a really cool sprite. I like that. That's cool. Let's see here. We got quick... Oh my god, more quick buffs. Quick attack 5, HP 5, crit 5 for the first 30 seconds. Other teammates attack and defense up level 3. That is incredible. What a rumble ability. That is so good. Wait, 20? 20 max CT? So I guess she's... Yeah, she's a supporter. Um, targets one teammate for 100% chance of haste. Quick teammates get level 3 attack, level 3 speed, level 2 defense for 40 seconds. It's pretty good. And th this will stack multiple times very quickly. And special CT 10% reduction. Yeah, so she's, she's solely a support unit. But I don't mind that. I think it's pretty good. Evades action bind. Paralysis as well. Cool. She's pretty cool. Quick inside. Teammates, HP, attack 6, CT, speed up level 2. That is so strong. Holy shit. Cerebral characters get level 4, HP, attack, and crit. After... <laughs> really? Just 25 seconds. Targets a team for level 10 attack, level 10 defense. Two teammates with low HP for 50% heals. Targets two enemies with high CT for 50% delay. Yeah, and you can use it three times. So you can use it literally every quest or multiple times a quest. Multiple times per battle. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh man, this this Oots is pretty strong, man. And remember, she can she she boosts quick Psy and Cerebral. Unfortunately, Cerebral aren't the best. Um Quick, I think, might struggle because Quick is not the best color either. They're kind of middle of the road. But Psy, Psy get benefits from this too. But this is pretty cool because you can CT delay them. So if there's like a character that... But it only targets two characters with high CT. So there is a chance you can like whiff who you target with that. You might target the wrong character. And you also get an attack and defense buff. But it's only for five seconds. So you really have to think about when you activate it. You probably use this defensively rather than offensively I would say. Because... Yeah, the attack buff is nice, but it is only for 5 seconds. But the fact that you can delay CT, and you still get a huge defense bo uh, boost as well. Um, it's good, but I just don't think... I don't think this will see a, a lot of play. I think it's it's good, but I don't think it'll see a lot of play. Yeah, Roger's still the best GP leader, just because of having the most busted GP burst in the game.